ushaka kuba numugisha amahirwe igakumvira imana if you want to get chance and lucky start to obey god ah, hallelujah igakumvira imana learn how to obey god kumvira imana ni angarishe mu bukungu na mahoro yawe obeying god is a secret which holds your wealth and even your peace abraham yumvi imana bimuhwanira no gukiranuka abraham obeyed god and then it because to his righteousness imana yaramubwiye ngo nunyumvira ugahaguruka ndaza kuguhindura umugisha wo gubwawe god told him if you obey me and stand up and go to serve me i'll turn you into a blessing iwo no umugisha ugenda utangwa mu nzego kuba umugisha kuba umugisha wo gubwawe kubera abandi umugisha ndetse no kubyara umugisha a blessing is being given into levels you start to be a blessing yourself a blessing to other people and a blessing to even ah, your hallelujah. family oh hallelujah iyo somye mu gitabo cyo gutegeka kwa kabiri when you read the bible second deuteronomy haravuga ngo uyu uyu mugisha uyu migisha yose zakuzaho nugira umwete wo kumvira imana it says that you are going to receive all the blessing if you have the courage of obeying god uzagira umugisha mu majya ndetse no mu mazi you are going to be blessed in your wants and you're coming back uzagira umugisha no mu mbuto zo mu nda yawe you are even going to have a blessing in your fruits from your whole womb ni wumvira imana uzagira umugisha na no hantu hinga if you obey god you are even going to be blessed in your cultivation iyo tuvuze ahantu hinga tuba tuvuze hari ukorera mu kazi hari uhinga mu murima hari ya wemvestisa ibijyanye no nibintu bikubeshaho uzagirira mu mugisha ni wumvira imana when we say cultivations we talk about your business we talk about your investment we mean that you are going to get a blessing when you obey god ariko nutumvira imana ibyo bizahora makavuyo but if you do not obey god everything that you do will always have a confusion abram now it's time for you to sacrifice your son to me Now imagine how would someone sacrifice his own son? Ariko Abraham aravuga ati ubu mwe fitanye n'Imana bwamagurukije wacu ntabwo uyu mwana ya mbere nzitizi yo kumvira Imana. Now Abraham was like the God who took me out of my father's house the relationship I have with him with him. Rimwe na rimwe Imana hari gihe ikwaka ibyo ibisa nibyo cungiraho. Now the times that God ask you to give why you feel like it's very choiceful to you. Bya bindi wasaga naho cungiraho wabonaga ko bigiye kwa mahirwe yawe Imana igahindukira ngo bimpeho. Why you call your best opportunity why you call your best shot then God says I want that. Ndimo ndavugana n'umuntu umeze nka Abraham muri literary. Now I'm talking with someone who feels like he's Abraham. Ndimo ndavugana n'umuntu wavuganye n'Imana ikamuhagurutsa ahantu ikamujyana handi umeze nka Abraham muri literary. I want to talk to someone whom recent to God. Ndagira ngo nongere mbasuhuze mwebwe mwese mudukurikira. I want to say hi to everyone who is following us. Kandi mbifurize umugisha w'Imana ho muherereye. And I would like to bless you with the blessing of God wherever you are. Twakomeze gushima cyane uburyo mwakomeje guhagarara natwe muri uyu murimo mwiza dukora. We are keeping on thanking you the way you are supporting us in this good work that we do. Kuko amasengesho yanyu twumva adukoraho ni inkunga z'uburyo butandukanye tubona ko zigira umumaro muri twebwe. Because your players and your physical support are very helpful to us that's why we wish a very good blessing from God in this good moment we are going to talk about few but not few words that we are going to talk about we are going to talk about a blessing of hearing and respecting the word from God what does obeying God means to you And what does obeying God means to me? Ibyo rero biraza kugira icyo birema kuri twe kandi bize kugira n'icyo birema mu bwami bw'Imana. That's going to create something in us and going to create something in the kingdom of God. Ndagira ngo mbere yuko twinjira muri uwo mwanya dufata umwanya wo gusenga. So I want us before we enter in that good moment we take a little bit time and play. Hanyuma ubundi twinjire neza mu byanditswe. And then we go through verses. 
Mana turagushimiye kugira neza kwawe. God we thank you that you good to to us. Mana turagushimiye kubwira neza yawe. And God we thank you for you are trustworthy. Watubikiye imbabazi zihoraho. You kept good mercy for us. Watanze umwana wawe Yesu Kristo. You gave your own son Jesus Christ. Kugira ngo kwizera wese atarimbuka aho gahabwa ubugingo bwawe. So that whomever will believe in you would not perish but will have a everlasting life. Tugira ngo umwuka wawe akomeza agenda agende mu buzima bwacu. We would like your holy ghost to move around in our life kandi abantu benshi bakurikira irembo rigera bagomeze kugira umugisha mu byo bari kugenda babonamo and whoever follows holy gate holy gate would get blessing ever he does urakoze cyane mu izina rya Yesu thank you god in the name of jesus amen amen bagira ngo dusome ibyanditswe so i would like to lead uh, read the bible hanyuma dusome itangiriro igice cya 12 na kabiri mu rongo wa mbere tugeze kuwa gatatu we are going to read the book of genesis chapter 1 verse 1 till 3 Harandite hati. It says. Uiteka atejeka au rahamati. Vamuji hugu chanyo usige umuri jango wanyo ninzu yaso. Uje muji hugu nza kuereka. Nza gu hinduru boko boko meye. Nza gu humuji sha. Nzo jezi zina rijawe uza bu muji sha. Kandi nza ha umuji sha. Aba kuifuri zumuji sha. Kandi nza nza uza kuvuma nza mvuma. Kandi muri wewe ni mo imiriyango yose yomnisi izahere gumuji. So the book of Genesis chapter twelve verse one it says, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of the country and from the king kindred from the father's house unto the land that I will show to you, and I will make of you the great nation, and I will bless you and make the name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that blesses you and curse those who curse you, and in shall all families of the earth be blessed. Amen. Amen. Ndashaka ku kuvuga umujishuri mukumvira imana Now I want to talk about a blessing that we get from obeying God Abantu benshi bakunda umujisho turuka ku mana ariko nti bakunda kuyumvira Many people would like a blessing from God but they do not like to obey God Uyu mugabo Abrahamu yabaga muri famiye ye This man Abraham used to live within his family yara afite umuryango nakwita ko ari umuryango wari ukize kuko bari bafite business bakora I would call his family a worthy family because they had a very great business kandi setera yari yaramuhaye kuba manager w'iyo business and his father had give him to be the manager of the business ibyo byatumaga rero Abrahamu nta kibazo kinzara yari afite nta nikindi yara yabonaga ko akenye ariko yaje gusobanukirwa ibanga yuko akenye umugisha now that made Abraham understand that there is nothing that he lacks, that he was from a very good family. But the only problem he had is that he did not get a blessing from God. And then one morning he heard a voice from somewhere which was calling him saying, Abraham, Abraham. I want you to leave the family of your house and the house of your father even your friends and you go in the land where I will show you Abraham ntabwo yari yarigeze agira ikifuzo cyo kuzava mu gihugu kiwabo ngo ajye handi kuko yumvaga nta kintu yakagiye kurebayo hari gihe imana guhamagara wenda ukavuga ati nubundi nari mbifite mu nzozi yuko nzava mu gihugu kiwacu nkajya mu kindi But Abraham have never felt like he wants leave his family's house to go in another land but sometimes there's time that God calls you and tell you you have to go since you have been dreaming about it but Abraham have never had that dream Abraham have never wished to leave his father's house umuntu wamuhamagaye Abrahamu ntabwo yaraziranye nawe So the person who called him Abraham did not know him Yumvise ijwi rimuhamagara gusa He just heard the voice which is was calling him Irangije kumuhamagara After calling him Iramubwira ngo genda kandi udatindiganyije God told Abraham you should go and you should not think twice about it Abrahamu ntiyabonye umwanya wo gusezera 
Abraham did not get time to say bye to his family. Invite all the friends and say, I'm going to go. He just took what he can take because he have heard the voice which is above other voices. So I want to plead God that you will hear another voices which is more than other voices. So for you to understand or to hear God's voice is for you to hear a special voice. Then Abraham heard it. And he stood up. He went without knowing where he's going. He did not try to test the word, the voice which called him by asking where am I going? What's the destination? No, he did not do that. He just stood and go. But because God would look for us where we are going. He have chosen the nice place for Abraham. God wants to send you in a place where there is a blessing which is more than what you believed in. It was very difficult for Abraham to leave his business behind. He would get money out of it. He, he was a star in his neighborhood. But God told him, go. God wants you to go and serve him. I will have a prophecy for you today. I want to tell you, God wants you to go, but you have to obey his voice. Voice. It might be possible that you will not change your location, but God is going to upgrade your thoughts. Because there are things that God would ask you to sacrifice us, such as your friends and even the group that you used to hang out with, so that He will tell you, stand up and go serve me. If you want the blessing from God, learn to obey Him. If you want to get chance and lucky, start to obey God. Ah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Learn how to obey God. Obeying God is a secret which holds your wealthy and even your peace. Abraham obeyed God and then it because to his righteousness. God told him, if you obey me and stand up and go to serve me, I will turn you into a blessing. A blessing is being given into levels. You start to be a blessing yourself, a blessing to other people, and a blessing to even ah, your family. Oh, hallelujah. Then you reach on that level when you are on the level of obeying to God. Now let me request you to stand up from wherever you are and go to where God wants you to be. Leave what you are doing and go to where God wants you to be. Wherever is taking away your peace, go out of it. That's really is taking away your peace, go out of it. Burdening you go out, it. stand up and live it, and go where God wants you to be. God wants to take you up, God wants to create something in you. He wants you to live wherever you are. Stand up and stood in the way of thoughts, and God takes you wherever you want. He wants you to be. If only you could think the way God. God will on, wants you to think like. Then one morning Abraham went. And then he had his brother called Lot. He also felt like I want to live, but without hearing the voice of God. Then sometime in the calling of God, sometime you have people 
who are going to just come to confuse you but come into like fans it's the case for Loti he saw Abraham standing and listening to the voice of God and then he said that I could follow you there are people who are following us in our callings but they did not hear the voice of God what we do they want to do like us they would like to be like us but there's something which tastes our calling so in that journey Lord followed Abraham but he was not lucky enough because he has not heard the voice of God I would really wish whatever you are doing whatever business you are doing you would hear the voice of God hallelujah I would really wish for you to hear the voice of God either you are driving your car you hear the voice of God either you are typing on your machine you hear the voice of God either you are, either you are flying in a plane you hear the voice of God but whatever you do you will do it under the willingness of God obeying God creates a friendship which is very special between you and God obeying God makes God testify for you in many people when you obey God he writes your name in the book of everlasting life Abraham became a friend of God Abraham became the father of nations Abraham was spoken by God and he's the hero that we speak about that came from obeying God so in this part of obeying God that we wanted to talk about now I don't want to speak too much about it but I want to speak few things which would help you to get on a level of obeying God you should not live a life of debating with God when he tells you something if God allows us we are going to talk about how we can unconfuse the voice of people and the voice of but the gospel of today is the gospel which says that the someone who's going to receive a blessing is someone who obeys the voice of God. Oh, hallelujah. Obeying God creates a blessing. Listen to how the Bible says. The Bible says if you accept and obey, you are going to eat fluids from that nation. But if you refuse and disobey, the soul of God is going to destroy you. Obeying God is a powerful thing. So when you obey God, you eat on the very good fruits from, from God. You are respected in a nation. And you even respected in heaven. Whoever would like to be a star in God, you do what you want. When you read the Bible, Second Deuteronomy, it says that you are going to receive all the blessing if you have the courage of obeying God. You are going to be blessed in your wants and you're coming back. You are even going to have a blessing in your fruits from your whole womb. If you obey God, you are even going to be blessed in your cultivation. When we say cultivations, we talk about your business, we talk about your investment. We mean that you are going to get a blessing when you obey God. But if you do not obey God, everything that you do will always have a confusion. One of the curses that one gets when he doesn't obey God. 
The Bible says that if you do not obey God when you ask for a bride, you will get, you not get it, but someone else will get it. And then another thing, you build house, but you will not be able to live in them. But you will have plenty of food, but you will not be able to feed on them. Because someone who do not obey God, there are things that he don't get to. But whoever obey God are lucky in his or all has path. He gets blessing in his children. He gets blessing in his job. And even blessing in his friends. So obeying God. It's going to create something huge in you. I want to speak about one thing that Abraham did which is different from some something else people did. In every journey that he did with God, he never showed God his solos. Then one time Abraham was talking with God and then he told him, even if I respected you and obeyed you, I never told you I had one sorrow, I have a sorrow in my heart. You bless me with things. You, get, you bless me with animals and domestic animals. I never lacked anything from all the worth I had to have. But I have one problem. He told God I have one problem. I have one problem. I always ask myself who is going to inherit all the richness you gave me since I never had a child. And then God told him because you obeyed me I will never allow you to be warmless or to have a child. In you there are nations. In you there are many nations. Hallelujah. In you there is a blessing. In you there is a savior. In you there is my plan. And then God took him out. He told him, Abraham, if you are discouraged, Abraham came out, I want to show you something. And he told him, look up. Look at all the stars in the sky. Look at all the stars in the sky. And told him, can you count them? And then Abraham answered, I cannot number them. And then he look at look at the sand on the beach. Try to number the sand. And Abraham answered, God, it's so impossible. I cannot number the sand. Hallelujah. And then God answered Abraham, if you cannot count the stars, not the sand, then that's how your nation or that's how your children are going to be like. And then God or Abraham was so revealed. When you went along with God, he could never leave you in such a bad time. When you obeyed God, he would never leave you without a help. If you obey God, there is certainly a blessing. If you obey God, you are going to receive what others could not receive. Abraham is then Abraham is called till now a father of nation. Now let me talk with someone who obeyed God. Now let me talk to someone who obeyed God when he told him to do something. 
You obeyed, you served the God who looks. You obeyed, you served the God who hears. You served a God who remembers. Now you are going to receive a composition of what you did. You are going to receive a composition of what you did. Then Abraham saw God. Now in few words he had a child. Now God after promising him a child He received a child called And a boy called Isaac Now when Isaac was in his adolescent age Where his family was so happy to have him God told Abraham Now it's time for you to sacrifice your son to me now imagine how would someone sacrifice his own son? Now Abraham was like the God who took me out of my father's house, the relationship I have with him with him. Now there are times that God asks you to give while you feel like it's very childful to you. Why you call your best opportunity, why you call your best shot, then God says, I want that. Now I'm talking with someone who feels like he's Abraham right now. I want to talk to someone whom recent to God, take him out from his family and take him to another place. I'm talking to you. Do not be discouraged by a little thing. Do not be discouraged by a little thing. Because Okay. Now I want you to hear that when God asks you something, it's the same case. God asks Abraham, give me Isaac who live a love a, a dying life. I want to give you an Isaac who is who could live an everlasting life. God sometimes would ask you to give something you cherish so that he would test your level of trust. Him. Then Abraham also heard God respected him. And then Abraham said to God, I've decided to give you everything that is in my possession because I myself am your property. And then God told him, take that son on the upper mountain and then you are going to sacrifice him on the mountain. And then God told him, build an altar and take the knife. As you understand, the son has to die. Abraham and then Abraham went. He took all his servants. Can you imagine the heart Abraham had? He told his son Isaac, let's go. Isaac was able to speak. He was very intelligent. They went up. And when they reached on the mountain. Well, his son knew that his dad usually did the sacrifices, so it was simple actions. But then Isaac looked in everything that he used to use, and then he was, Dad, where is the ship? Isaac told his father we were able to take everything which is needed when we are doing a sacrifice but one thing we forgot a ship and then Abraham looked at his son and he was like, no, let's go. God is going to find his own ship. So Abraham did not tell him that because it was a vision or because it was a prophecy. But he, he wanted to 
provide or to keep the security of Isaac so that he will not get traumatized before they reach where he was supposed uh, to go? Bajaza kumusozi. Umangana amufasha gushiri mwe kujitambo. Even when they reached on the mountain, Isaac helped his father to build an altar. Now try to imagine or to picture the picture of Isaac trying to gather all the trees that they're going to make to use to make fire and the thought which was in Abraham's head. But when in the right moment Abraham did not think twice, you don't have to think about your wealthy or your economy, you have to make a decision. And then he took his son and closed his arms. And Isaac answered his father, If your God asks you to sacrifice me, then I won't fight against you. Go ahead, Father. And then he laid him upon the altar. And he, re, he rules up with the sword as if he was about to sword him. And when he was about to punch his son, an angel came and hold his hand. And then when he was rising the sword, he heard the voice speaking to him. I meant the same voice that called him. It's the same word which spoke upon him when he was about to sacrifice his son. That voice which sold the best swear. It's the same voice which again talked to Abraham, Abraham and told him Abraham, Abraham I've known that you loved me now that I know that you obey me I am your God I'm swearing upon my name in you I've put my blessing which it has a lot of loot. In you I've created an everlasting blessing. I swear whoever bless you would be blessed. And whoever will curse you and I will curse him in the name I swear in my name. Amen. Because you obeyed me. That's why I will stand upon you. I will stand on your side, Abraham. I will bless you in your surrounding. I will bless your eyebrows. And how you even become your blessing. Ah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So, obeying God holds a huge secret. Hallelujah. Obeying God, there is a secret that you do not even know. No. That's what we call God's grace. It's having a very huge and very open heart. Having a heart which is beyond your capacity. It's having a heart which is beyond what you tell to yourself. Yeah. And then God told him, look, look through that blanche. And then God gave him a sacrifice. Now God in that moment gave two lessons. Abraham, God told Abraham is is a God which has millions of ways. And then God, Abraham told to God, you are a most high God. You are a special God. And that showed me that there is nothing that I'm going to lack in your presence. Hallelujah. Another lesson that Isaac took, he knew the God of his father, but he did not God for himself. 
isaka yabyutsa aho ngaravuga ngo imana ya papa yari yamunyatse ngo anyice ariko imana yangi tumye ntapfa and then god isaac learned that the, the god of father asked him to sacrifice me but my god did not allow me to die imana giye kwikura hakamenyera abantu bayimenyereye kubandi ahubwo izikwiyereke neza nawe so god is going to take all the confusion that people usually knows him he's going to show you his real face there is a way that you are going to see God in a special oh, yeah. way. Oya, you are going to see your own God who is different from the God the Bonimana ya witandukanye niyo bakubwira mu buhamya. You are going to see a God who is different from the God Bonimana ya witandukanye niyo bakubwira mu nyugu. You are going to see a God who is different from a God they told you in alphabet. Bonimana ya we. See your God. Bonimana ya we. See your own God. Tangariza bo muri kuwe ngo ngiye kubona imana yanje. You tell your people that you are going to see your own God. Ndumva ngiye kubona imana yanje. Says that you are going to see your own God. I feel that I'm going to see my own God. Tell your friends that I'm already seeing my God. If you accept and obey, your own God is going to reveal himself to you. If you accept to obey, you are going to win over the exam that your demon, the demons have put inside of you. If you accept to obey the doors are going to be opened oh hallelujah let's pray since we are going to keep on next time we are going to keep on talking about good good news of gospel may the lord most high bless you i love you so much may god bless you god we praise you you get, give us a heart of obeying to you. Give us a heart of obeying you. And give us a heart of working under your willing. Let your power be more than how you speak about it. Hallelujah. And may your glory be revealed. Bless whoever followed me from the very beginning. Until right now. I pray for him to receive the glory in the presence of God in his life. And may your power do a lot of things more than he believed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.